<clears throat> I don't even fucking care about the internet bill anymore. I don't even fucking care. I'm gonna be audio only. I'm here to say, and I'm gonna get a lot of comments saying, you're just saying that so you don't seem schizotypal. Well, I'm gonna get a lot of those comments saying that. You know, I'm gonna get a lot of those comments. But no, I really mean it. I really do mean it. I'll say this, though. The only weird beliefs that I've had, I'm going to say I never had weird beliefs. I never had weird beliefs. I never fucking had it. I've always been either mainstream religious or, you know, that's it. You know what I mean? Um, You know what I mean? Um, The only time I had a weird belief was... um, Never, like never. Um, even with the whole like, people could be like, "Well, what about the devil worship stuff?" You know, anything that's a weird belief is schizotypal, according to you guys. Um, what about the devil worship stuff? No, that's basically it's all fake. Like, it's all fake. It's all fake. Um, I used to be a Catholic. You can't say that religion is schizotypal. I don't know why you guys think that. Um, but I can't hide the fact that I, yeah, I used to be a Catholic. Um, but yeah, I can't hide the, I gotta keep my voice down, but yeah, I can't hide the fact that I used to be a Catholic. Um, I wasn't even like a true Catholic, like I never read the Bible, like I, I, (laughs) that's the funny thing too, it's like, okay, being mainstream, being spiritual or religious in itself is not schizotypal. I don't know why some of you think that. I don't know why some of you think that extreme. Um, Some of you don't. Some of you just say, oh no, not that. But like the weirdo stuff is. Okay. Yeah, there was a time when I was a Catholic, but that was like when I was a kid or a teenager. And the funny thing was, I wasn't even a true Catholic. Like, I... I never read the... I went to church when I was a kid. I don't think I went to church when I was a teenager, though. But I went to church when I was a kid. I prayed. But I never read the Bible. I never owned the Bible. Um, I never really cared that much to, you know, better my life. You know. And I gave it up. Now, when it comes to devil... When it comes to the devil worship stuff, no, that was all fake. Um... It's true that I used to be a Satanist, but Satanism is not schizotypal. We're talking about Anton LaVey and Satanism. That's like the complete opposite of schizotypal. I know LaVey and Satanists and atheistic Satanists, they do rituals. That's, that's a psycho, that's for psychodrama. That's just, that's not, that's, LaVey and Satan, there's two types of Satanism. There's LaVey and Satanism, which is atheistic Satanism, and then there's theistic devil worship satanism i was never a devil worshiper it's all fake it's all fake schizotypal schizophrenia it's all you know i don't have those symptoms you know um you know um yeah but the rituals um did i do rituals as an atheistic satanist yeah i did but i didn't believe in it i was just doing it to it's funny because when i prayed i believed in it when I prayed to God, when I was still a Catholic, I ble- I believed in it. But then when I did the rituals as a Satanist, I didn't believe in it. The rituals for me were like therapy, you know, just like a voodoo doll. It's kind of like an atheist doing a voodoo doll. Like they know it's fake, but they're just doing it just to like calm themselves down, you know. Kind of like how people act to calm down or people do BDSM to calm down or something. Or play video games. That's basically what it was to me. So no, I'm not schizotypal. It's it's all fake. When I say it's all fake, I don't mean the D-I-S-O-R-D-E-R. I I don't mean that. I mean me having, like, I never, okay, in case you're new to my channel, people are going to watch this and be so fucking confused. I never faked having schizotypal because I was, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to get at? People on the internet keep diagnosing with people on the internet keep diagnosing me with schizotypal. But I was never diagnosed. And I never claimed to have it. The only time I did was the 
there, there was a period where I self-diagnosed myself with schizotypal because I thought I had it. Um, but I don't think it, I don't think it is that. People could be like, so if you never had magical beliefs, why did you self-diagnose with schizotypal? Because... It... Uh, just, I don't know, because I'm alone on I'm weird, I don't know. But, I don't believe it. Hey, fuck it, nothing fucking matters, okay? And I'm not just saying this to seem like schizotypal. No, I'm not just saying this to seem because like, people are going to say, it just sounds like you're just making this video to sound like... You was trying to see my schizotypal. No, I it's so it's I think it's bullshit that you all are trying to diagnose me with this condition that's never been mentioned in in my life at all. You know, I just find that fucking ridiculous. Why can't you start up a condition to fit me better in? You know what I mean? I I am a fucking I'm not gonna say I'm a sociopath because sociopaths don't admit to I I'm nothing. Okay, I'm I'm a okay. Um Update, 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 update. Uh, okay, I'm I'm neurotypical. I'm a neurotypical. I'm just neurotypical. I like fucking around. I'm just a neurotypical. That's all that it is. That's all that it is. And then that's all that it ever will be. I'm just a neurotypical. I don't believe in anything. I'm an agnostic atheist. I I went from a Catholic and and I'm and then after that I was agnostic atheist. And I'll always be an agnostic atheist. I don't care of. God himself comes down, and I don't care if God gets proven from science. I will always be an agnostic and get atheist. I will always be it. Even if science comes out tomorrow and says God is real, the afterlife is real, the ghosts and the fairies are real, I will, I, I'd rather be delusional in my atheism and my agnosticism than to ever support that stuff, to, than to ever accept that stuff. I am a true agnostic atheist i am a true like i'm saying like there's agnostic atheists that don't even go that far i do there's agnostic atheists where they said if it was proven by science they'd believe in it me not me no i'd never believe in it so i'd be delusional in the nihilistic sense or i'd be delusional in a logical sense if that makes any sense like there was a guy that i used to know i don't know if he had schizotypal but there was a guy that had really weird views. His beliefs was he believed in anarcho primitivism. Basically, what that means is he had he he wanted society to go back to the the hunter gatherer society, you know, and he blamed culture and society and civilization as the problem for life. Um, I that's really schizotypal. Not in a magic... He, he, I don't... He seemed to have weird beliefs. Not in a schizotypal magical sense, but in a schizotypal political logical sense. Um, but I... It, but... Um, yeah, it was just weird. He just... He, he rejected cult, all... He rejected culture itself and society and... You know... But there's actually, but there's actually different types of people. But that's not. But I don't think that was a delusion. That was only um, relevant to him. I don't think it was because there technically is other people out there that have that belief system. I didn't. I, at first, I thought it was just him that believed in it. But then I found someone else that believed in it. Um. And then I found oh, and then I found more people that believed in that. And it's called anarcho primitivism. I didn't even know even like at first I didn't I I, th I think at first I didn't know I had a name at first. I didn't think it I didn't know that I had a name at first. I thought it was just him being weird. And then I'm like, oh, it's a community. It's like it's an actual community. So I guess that wasn't a delusion because a delusion is something that only you believe. And apparently this is okay. Fuck it. There's a guy called John John Zorzan that fucking preaches this shit, the anarcho-primitive lifestyle, so this is actually a thing, um, you know what I mean, um, you know, and there's a subreddit for it, so, basically what I'm trying to get at is that I'm near typical, I don't believe in anything, and I never will, so if, if I am delusional, it's in an atheistic sense, see, atheists won't even go fucking that far, I will, and I'm not just saying that, so yeah, we got that out of the way, 
So like I said, I never faked being schizotypal. I just thought I was schizotypal because I was weird and I was a loner. Um, you know, that's it. And I'm not schizoaffective. That's another thing too. I'm not schizoaffective. I, okay, so people are going to get confused and say, people are going to get way confused with this video and be like, are you admitting that you're faking mental illness? Um, here's the explanation. I Okay, so the diagnosis of schizoaffective, okay, you got to put this down. The diagnosis of schizoaffective was true. Another thing that was true, I was, another thing that's true is I was never diagnosed with schizotypal. That's also true. The only thing I lied about is my magical beliefs. Like, I don't believe in anything magical at all, okay? I don't believe in anything weird at all. I don't believe in conspiracies at all. I don't. I believe in science. And if science is wrong, I adapt to my beliefs. Unless if it's God or ghosts, because I'll never accept that. Um, I, I know someone's going to be like, that's what exactly what a schizotypal would say. No, it's fucking true. Where the fuck is the evidence of the aliens? The, that one specific, like, I'm not even trolling at this point. I'm not even trolling at this point or at all. That one I actually do mean when I say, where the fuck are the aliens, the extraterrestrials. That one I actually do mean. Because that, I, got, I will admit there actually was a time where I believed in extraterrestrials, but the news keeps edging me with information. Oh, aliens in Miami. The whistleblower came out about the UFOs. Um, what else? The Tic Tac fucking UFOs, and it keeps just fucking putting me on the edge of, like, something's gonna come out, hopefully, and it never does. So at this point, I think it's just the government... Well, I don't want to create a conspiracy, because I don't want to seem schizotypal. I was gonna say, it's just the government trolling me, or trolling us. I don't want to seem schizotypal. No, I, it's just... I don't even... I don't know what it is. It's just unexplained. So I don't... I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm also agnostic. I don't want to be... I'm also agnostic. I don't want to be totally sounding like an atheist. I don't want to be... I don't want to sound like a... I don't want to sound like a militant atheist. I don't want to sound like a... Like a... There's a thing called Gnostic Atheism, which is basically... You are 100% convinced in atheism. Like, you'll never get unconvinced in it. I don't want to sound like that. Even though my name is Gnostic Mind Train. Should I change my YouTube channel to agnostic brain train i made that up a long time ago um should i change my name to that because that's what i am now i'm agnostic brain train um i don't give a fuck about the magical stuff anymore i just want to follow science i wear a you know i um i still wear a m-a-s-k you know what i mean i trust in science you know what i mean where is proof of God? Where is proof of the ghosts and the extraterrestrials and the fairies and all that stuff? And the reincarnation soul trap. You guys are right. You guys are right. All these communities about talking about the reincarnation soul trap, you guys are right. All these people in these communities have schizotypal or schizophrenia. Nothing wrong with having that. I'm not trying to shame it, but you're right. So, since I'm not schizotypal, again, I never lied. The, okay. I was, just to repeat it, just to repeat this, I was never diagnosed with schizotypal. Never. But, there was a, I had a channel called School Down 22 where I self-diagnosed with it, and the only reason why I did was because I was a weird loner. But I don't believe anything magical, I'm not magical, I'm not magical at all. I'm not spiritual at all. So we got that out of the way, we got that out of the way, so, so, for, so people, so basically in that show, people are asking, did you lie about men having, people are trying, did I lie about having mental illness? Well, I self-diagnosed, like I said, I self-diagnosed myself with schizotypal personality disorder years ago. I wouldn't say that's, that is lying, but I, I wouldn't say it's lying in the sense that I'm faking having schizotypal, because I never faked having schizotypal. I never faked the symptoms of having schizotypal. You know what I mean? I lied about having... Lying about having a disorder doesn't mean that you're faking it. Like, you could be a hypochondriac and you think you have it, but really you don't. That's not the same thing as Munchausen 
or you're faking it. So I think in my case, it was just hypochondria or being a know-it-all. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. And schizoaffective, why did I get diagnosed with that? Probably because of my sleep deprivation. Because I would start, you know, having weird vision problems and I would have mood issues. But I think it's the sleep deprivation. So we got that out of the way. Schizoaffective misdiagnosis due to sleep deprivation and schizotypal is not me. Okay, so what am I now? Well, I identify as neotypical, but if you want to label me something else, let me know. That's the funny thing. I never get comments calling me autistic. I never get comments calling me autistic. Why don't you ever call me autistic? I never get comments calling me bipolar. Why don't you call me bipolar? But yeah, that's the news for now is that I'm fucking neurotypical and I've always been. I could identify as a sociopath, but sociopaths are not supposed to admit that they're sociopaths. But I really relate to that. I really relate to sociopathy. I think I might be worse than a sociopath. I think I might be a sadistic evilist, if that's even a thing. Because there's sociopaths that are, like, not stereotypically sociopaths. And with me, I'm, like, border, borderline on the edge of not becoming a stereotype. I mean, I'm, I don't want to scare, I don't want to scare people. No, I'm fucking 28 years old. I'm way too old to be causing trouble and stealing cookies in the cookie jar. If you know, I'm not trying to be metaphorical, schizotypal. I mean that literally. I'm too old to be, to be stealing cookies and... Fucking shit, you know. Fucking give me your lunch money, Billy. You know, I'm too old for that, you know. So, so yeah, we got that out of the way. Psychologist update. I guess I could add this in the video. What's the, psych what's the update of my psychologist? I might not even see her. I might not even see her because I was trying to get something scheduled for March. And she has a fucking waiting list. She... I wanted to make the psychologist update when I actually get something super set up to see her, but I might as well just let you know what the fuck is going on now. You know what I mean? I don't know when you'll see this video. I'm recording this before I did the fucking heart scan, so... You know... She said, because I, I was hoping I would get something early in March. Maybe it's a good thing that I don't see her in March, because I um, have these heart tests. Um, the physical health stuff is real, like, that's 100% real. Again, I never faked having, I never faked having mental illness. I just lied about having schizotypal with, if I, okay, I'll say this, if I ever get diagnosed with schizotypal in the future, that won't be fake. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 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 if I ever, tr like, if a doctor truly says, you do have schizotypal because, let's say, for instance... Um, you're a loner and you made a conspiracy about the government trying to distract us about the aliens or the, or the UFOs. Like, like she's just like, okay, you may not believe in aliens and extraterrestrials, but you're still making conspiracies that the Illuminati or the government is just distracting us with this news. So you're still schizotypal. Like, I, I've always said if I ever get a mental health diagnosis, I would never lie about it. Again, I'm not making this video to seem normal or less schizotypal or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just saying, I don't understand why the fuck you, you guys can't just leave me alone and stop putting labels on me. Like, I just don't get why, I think you guys are sadistic. I think that's what it is. You guys are just sadists. I think that's what it is. You either don't actually believe I'm schizotypal and you're just saying it, or you do believe in it, but you're just, I don't want to have to talk about that. I always said if I ever got diagnosed with schizotypal or another mental illness, I would always tell the truth. Like, I don't want to be like, like I said, I only lied once. That was years ago, and that wasn't even on this channel. And it wasn't even like a malicious lie. Like, it wasn't like I'm trying to fuck with people kind of a lie. I just said I was schizotypal because I actually believed I had it. Um, again, it's not, it wasn't a malicious lie. I wasn't trying to be a sociopath, trying to cause stigma for mental health or anything. I told this lady, I'm questioning what mental disorders I, ha I have for a while. I think I know what I have. Schizotype of personality disorder, borderline personality disorder, and intellectual disability. And 
you know, I um, said to her, I'm looking to know what my di- um, this is the messages I sent to her. You know, I'm looking to know what are my diagnosis is, what, what is it, what is it, what is it, and then she says that she has a fucking waiting list. Sorry. I had to itch myself. Um, you might hear dad coughing in the back background, I apologize. Um, but yeah, I don't believe in anything magical at all, I don't believe in anything, I'm just a typical, um, autistic person, if you want to label me autistic, that, that, that believes in science, and that's it, and when I die, nothing will happen, like, I'm being dead serious. Or you can label me near, I think I'm neurotypical, because neurotypicals also believe in that too. But I relate more. I relate more to the neurotypicals because I don't have sensory issues or reading people issues. Okay, so yeah, I'm not schizotypal. Um, she's like, I do have. She's like, I do have a waiting. Okay, the psychologist update is I do have a waiting list, and it's hard to predict when anything would open up. Would you be interested in pursuing? Yeah, cause cause I said. And Kate, you have to watch the psych. You have to watch my video. I contacted a psychologist to know what the fuck I'm talking about. But basically, yeah, she sent me, she finally replied and she said something like, she does have a waiting list, you know what I mean? Um, she says, would you be interested in pursuing ongoing therapy as well, or just a few sessions for diagnostic assessment? She's, and she says, she doesn't feel comfortable doing an evaluation online. I don't understand why. Because if I go in physically, I'll be wearing a mask, so you can't read my facial expressions. Doing it online, voice, not voice, video chat would be perfect because you get to see my face. You know, I don't know how you're going to read my facial expression expressions, lady. I mean, you could still read my body, she could still read my body language, but it just, and it's just a fucking hassle to go to, I'm not going to say where she's located, but it's just a hassle to drive fucking 40, I think it's like 40, she, she lives 40 fucking minutes away from me or something like that, I don't fucking know. Just for a couple of sessions to know what my mental illnesses are, like it's just fucking ridiculous. Again, I don't believe in anything magical, I'm just a normal fucking person. I am. I'm just, I'm normal. I, I make this shit up because I'm bored and I do it to make fun of these ideas. I know I'm probably going to get canceled for that. Like, there's fairies in the sky. No, there's fucking not. There's nothing. When I fucking pass away, I'm going to fucking see blackness. I, in fact, I won't even see blackness. There will just be nothing. That's it. That's it, man. That's it. Yeah, because I said to her, I'm just doing up a follow-up a follow message since it's been a while since you've replied to me. I'm looking for a therapist who can give me a clinical interview to be able to, deter to, be able to determine and give me a diagnostic clarification, if any, of my symptoms. I know you have patients on a waiting list, so that doesn't bother me. I can wait as long as it takes. I'm just curious if you're interested in seeing me or not, if for some reason... Nah, that's fine. Would like to would like a reason to why not. But if yes, then I would be happy to see you. I would I would only see you online only though. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you. And then my last name, what my first and last name. And yeah, and then she says, and then she's like, yeah, you're right. I do have a waiting list. Would you like ongoing therapy as well, or just these few sessions for your diagnosis? And like I said, I said just for my diagnosis. And then she's just like, I can't do the, I can't, I can't do the evaluation online. I'm just like, why? <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck? Why? Um, I, I just don't fucking get it. But I said to her, yeah, at the moment, I'm looking for just a few sessions for diagnostic assessment, and that's it. Well, I didn't say that, but you know, please let me know what dates and time you have available. Sometime in March would be great. I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. And then she's just like, hi. I'm sorry to say I don't have any available... This is what she said, I think, um, on the 20th. And it, as I'm recording this, it's the 20th. But she says, I am sorry to say I don't have any availability at this time for a diagnostic assessment. Are you fucking kidding me? There's no way to know when, I, when I'd when i have space to do so, unfortunately. Every time I fucking try to get a psychiatrist or psychologist to figure out what the F is wrong with me. It's always insurance issues, traveling issues, and then when I finally get to fucking see the person, it's always, 
you're not schizotypal. They, they, they never denied, they never denied me having schizotypal. It's just they never confirm it. Sounds like you want to be a schizotypal. No, no, it's just, I literally used to, I, I, I thought years ago, maybe that's what I have. And you know what? I'll say this, even if I did, even if I, even if I did have magical beliefs in something, like, even if I fucking did, like, even if I fucking believed in just ghosts, but not God, or something, like, even if I did, why you gotta put a label on me? You know, there's fucking people that believe in ghosts, there's atheists that believe in ghosts, spiritualism is an actual religion, you know, if I get any comments saying, you believe in ghosts, that's schizotypal, I'm going to fucking remove that. That's actually discriminatory against YouTube to be discriminatory against spiritual that spiritualism is a religion, so you're basically go, you're basic you're being discriminatory against spiritualism. So bye-bye, you, your your comment is removed and blocked. I'm not saying I believe in spiritual spiritualism or spirituality. I'm just saying if if I hypothetically if I did, maybe I am fucking acting like Onision. And if I can act in like Onisia, you know what I mean? But, I don't know, I don't know, man. I don't believe in anything, and I'm being serious. I haven't seen proof of anything. I'm just like a normal person that never experiences anything weird out of the ordinary. i never seen a UFO. I mean, it's true, i never seen a UFO, so how can I be sure if it's real? It's like... Please feel free to reach out to my practices receptive to this office phone and my signature to see if there's any. Again, sorry if you heard my dad coughing, you know. Um, yeah, I have to contact some practice receptive to this office phone and a signature to see if there's any. If, if there's someone who has immediate availability for that, if you like. I am in a mental health crisis, but I have to focus on the physical shit, because the physical shit, I think it's more serious, because I keep having, the physical shit is real. I don't care if you think I'm faking my mental shit, I don't even give a fuck anymore, as long as you don't think I'm faking, I'm not faking anything, and I'm not fucking schizotypal. Stop fucking putting labels on me. My physical shit is definitely real. I keep, ever since February... On and off, I'm having, like, these weird symptoms, like, left arm numbness. I don't know what that is. I don't know if I'm gonna have a fucking stroke soon. I don't know what it is. But lately, I've been having left arm numbness, and it comes and goes within the day, or it comes back days later or something. Okay, so yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, um, she's, she's like, otherwise, it, you could put... She's like, you have to contact my pra my practices receptor to this for immediate availability. And if you don't, then you could be put on my waiting list. So you might have to wait a long time or something. I don't know. But that's basically the fucking end is that, yeah, I'm, I guess I'm never going to get a fucking answer as to what the fuck is wrong with me. And it's for the best. And I'm not schizotypal and I'm just a fucking neurotypical or maybe I am a sociopath. I don't fucking know. And that's it. Any more comments call me schizotypal? Blocked. Um, removed and blocked. Anybody saying that weed beliefs is part of schizotypal is removed and blocked because my therapist, my last therapist said weird beliefs in itself is not schizotypal. He said weird beliefs in its, like conspiracies and spiritualism and spirituality, new age shit, he says that itself is not schizotypal. Well, he never even brung up the word schizotypal. That's the fun. Well, he said he never. That's the weird thing about him is my dad's coughing in the background. That's the weird thing about my last therapist is I would talk about schizotypal all the time and he would never say the word. But he would say back, "Weird beliefs is not a mental disorder." Like in itself, like he kept on saying that, and I said that before. I made a video about that before he said that. But basically, yeah, I'm not schizotypal. I don't think I'm ever going to see this lady. It doesn't fucking matter. Why are you so obsessed with putting a label on me? I don't believe in anything. I don't. Where is where is the G-O-D? Where is God? Where is it's ICP song? Where, where is God? Where is God? Where is God? Where is the ghosts? Where is the extraterrestrials? I don't see anything. I believe in materialistic reality. You know, Rudolf Steiner said that there's a guy, there's a spiritual being called Ahriman, and he's like the, um, 
Yeah, there's a guy called Rudolf Steiner, and he said that there's a spiritual being called Ahriman. And Ahriman is like, he represents materialism. So like, materialism as in like material possessions, but also materialism as in like the material existence. I don't believe in Ahriman, but I believe in, the, I believe in material possessions, obviously, and I believe in material existence, and that's all I fucking care about. When I pass away, that's it. Near-death experiences, you want to you wanna know why it all sounds different? You want to know why some people say that, um, you want to know why some near-death experiences say that you have to reincarnate, and then there's another near-death experience that says that Jesus is the only way, and then you get another one that says that Satan is real, and then you get another one that says that Satan is not real. You want to know why? Because it's just chemicals, bro. That's it.